Hey guys, I thought I'd hop on here quick and I'm going to make one of those Christmas gnomes that I shared yesterday, but I'm going to make, I want to make some um, gift toppers or ornaments. So I'm just going to do the same thing. So I thought I'd get on here and then I thought I'd share just to show you how easy it is to do. This is a scarf that I got at a thrift store. I always love picking up plaid scarves. You can use them, just fold them up, a pile of them. They look really cute just on a shelf or something. But um, since there's a lot of variation in a plaid scarf, you can get a lot of different hats with these gnomes. Uh, just by the way you cut it. So it's just one of these wood, I don't know what they call them, wood clips or chips or something. And so, I mean, this is you. It, this project cannot be easier. I just put up some hot glue over there and this will be his hat. And then I glue on the sides, glue the, the little scarf down on the side. And you don't need a lot of fabric, so really one scarf will do. I mean, less than one scarf. So if you just had a hunk of fabric that you like, but you can make this with any kind of fabric. And then for the top, like it's not fancy at all. I just fold it over until I get kind of a point at the top. And I may have to trim these sides just to make them a little, not so bulky, but. And then I literally just hot glue them. Hot glue the fabric on top of each other. I don't know how to sew. Do you guys know how to sew? If you guys, when you guys come in, if you could say hello or where you're coming from, um, where you're at in the world, I'm in Iowa. It just helps me to know if these are working. Um, it helps Facebook to know it's working. People, people are seeing this. And so literally that's all it is for the hat. And then, whoops, I'm going to glue this down up here. I didn't do that. You just want it to lay flat on the, oh, I didn't grab. I'll have to grab that. I think it's right over there. Okay. So basically that is it for the hat. And then what I was doing, I was folding some of them down. So they kind of looked like this. And then I was putting the ball, hot glue strings everywhere. Um, I was putting the ball right here. But for this one, what I'm going to do for the beard is I'm going to use the Santa hat. If you guys, since I've been cutting the Santa hat, the little, this is working, right guys? Yeah, if you're coming in, just let me know where you're from. It looks like people are on from, um, but I just want to make sure. Okay, so anyway, I just went to Target to look at their Target or to look at their Christmas stuff and to share. I shared it in stories, so I should all of my stories that I share on Instagram should be coming through to Facebook so you guys should be able to see that but I don't know if there's like a a lay you know it's not live but so that you guys should be able to see that today but they had these Santa hats in the dollar bin and they weren't as fluffy and they weren't as plush and they were three dollars I got this for 88 cents at a thrift store so I mean either way you could go to the dollar store too when I cut that that uh fuzz or whatever off the bottom of the hat the top layer wants to pull off so I just kind of pull this just the top layer off so then I can when I'm gluing it it's not I mean you're gonna get it everywhere anyway but that's all right so I literally just cut a hunk I mean I'm not it's not straight it's not you can straighten it up if you want to may have it come down to a point and then I am just going to hot glue it here at the bottom and my hat and my beard are a lot bigger than the little wood chip and that's okay that's the way I want it so if you can see the wood chip is you know here and the, the beard comes all the way down and then the hat obviously goes all the way up along with glitter this is a little messy project but that's okay <laughs> this stuff vacuums up a little bit better than glitter does and the tree I came on and shared the other day, it's already a new color. So Gabrielle liked it and um, the green wasn't going to match her room. So it's kind of a pinkish, but it, I mixed some colors. So this is what you're going to, I mixed some colors and it kind of looks more purple. So we might have to keep 
keep working at that. But so this is what you're going to get. Lit this is it in like a few easy steps. So now what I'm going to do is flip him back over. You can leave their hats up. I did that on some of them. And you could put some floral wire or like craft wire inside these hats so they're easy to bend any which way. You could do that as well, but I'm just using my hot glue gun because it's easy and I always have it here. So the other phone is ringing upstairs. Okay. So I'm just gluing that down. I don't know why that phone is ringing. Okay. And then I'm going to glue this down. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Okay. I'm going to flip it over. And don't worry about the, the hot glue mess. Once it dries, it's easy to pull off. So I just want it to kind of look like it's off to the side. And then I like using the real big pom-poms. You can use the little ones too, but the big ones are just more, uh, I don't know, dramatic. And I've got all these fuzzes on here. So there is his hat, his beard. And then these are, I was getting questions. These are just wood balls. You could, I mean, if you had the beads too, you could use those if you just put them you know, sideways, you wouldn't necessarily see the holes, but, um, I just, I have these wood beads. No, they're not wood beads. They're wood balls. And I, I shared the blog post. It's got the list of all of these supplies that you need. Okay. Now I think I, okay. Some people are coming in. Now I can see your guys' comments. So it's working. It's working. Okay. I just wonder if there's a lag or something, you know? It's live, but I just wonder with... Okay, so here he is. And so for... So for the back, you could use anything. I just have... I This is what I used for the, for the garland that I shared yesterday. It's like a raffia ribbon. So from, to put these like on gifts and stuff, and then people could hang them on trees... I'm just going to hot glue this like this so then they can, that might be a little too big. And then just put it down like that. I mean, literally the longest part of this is, well, I'll show you, is choosing which fabric you wanna use but otherwise you could have a bunch of these done in no time. And then we're, I think we're gonna put the gnome garland that I made in Landon's room. But anyway, these would be cute, hanging in a tree or on the top of gifts. Look, I just love the white beards, aren't they cute? And it's just a, you could get a stocking too. It doesn't have to be a Santa hat, you could get a stocking. But get one that's kind of more plush instead of, you know, flat, if you know what I mean. Oh. I was gonna, I wasn't gonna do the yarn today because that one takes a little bit longer. It's a thicker like alpaca yarn that I got at a thrift store, but when you pull them apart, it kind of looks more like hair. And so that one takes a little bit longer, but either way, you have one, you have them done very, very quickly. Okay, so I wanna make a couple of those for the tops of gifts. Yeah, Susan, I wasn't really into gnomes. And then when I was sitting down to do this, I thought I was gonna make Santas and then I had the, I found the wood, the wood balls at a thrift store. And I'm like, wait a minute, let me see if this will work. That sun likes to come in. Okay, let me unplug this because I will definitely burn myself because I always do. Okay, so here's another thing that I've been working on for this year. We had these white boards and I don't know what was on them. This is actually painted by me, but there was like a white chalky something on them, but they looked kind of worn and cool. So I really, really, really liked them. And I, I wanted to um, have Matt cut stockings or old socks out of them, different shapes, different sizes, just freehand them. Uh, so all four of us sat down to see who could make socks because none of us could when we did this. It was like, <laughs> it was harder than we thought, but we got it. And so Matt cut them out. And then when he was sanding them just to get all the rough edges, the white, 
it wasn't paint. I don't know what it was. It was like chalk or something was coming off. So it, that didn't work. Uh, so I just painted them white, but then I really wanted them to look like old socks, you know, hanging, you know, like in the old movies in the wintertime, like old socks hanging by the fireplace to, to dry them off and stuff. So I wanted them to look like that. Yes. And fabric you can get anywhere. You can get fabric at any fabric store at Walmart, at Joann's, um, Hobby Lobby. Yes, by all means. I just, when I can go to a thrift store and get a scarf for 88 cents and a hat for 88 cents and get, you know, a hundred little gnomes, that's, I was just sharing it that way. But yes, for sure, for sure. An old sweater or like a, a wool sweater would be really cool too. I'm back at the thrift store. But any fabric at any, any fabric store would work. So anyway, so what I did is I wanted this to look dirty. I did not want it to look white. So I thought I'd share with you what I did. And then I will take the phone upstairs and show you where I hung the, the, the brown thing. Okay, so for the, it's these. And I will put a link in this up above to the blog post. If you scroll back in the My Creative Days Facebook page, just yesterday, I put in the link to the blog post for all about all about the gnomes and the supplies I use and actually had to buy. I am sorry that sun's coming through. Um, so, uh, that was my window. So um, all of that's in there. And I tell you where I got these. And I got them for under $2 for a bag of them. So... If you look there, or when I'm done here, I will put the link up in the description to the blog post. I didn't do that. I'm sorry. But this is what they are. They're like little wood chips. I, I think that's what they're called too, wood chips or something. So anyway, I wanted these so socks to look like old dirty socks. And so I used, anybody else wrap up their paintbrushes in plastic or when they're using them? This is what I used. I'm trying to get out of the sun. So this is the black Dixie Belle wax and just an old paintbrush. I still have some on here. And it's, it looks like, this wax is a lot easier to use than some of the waxes I've used. It's like, I'm not getting a, a huge, like some of them you really have to work in. So this is, I just put enough wax on for four, four socks, but that's okay. The dirtier, the better. That's what I wanted them to look like. Um, so what I did is I just used this old kid's paintbrush that Gabrielle never uses. And then I put on this wax all around. And after, I should tell you, after I painted these white, because the first, the original, whatever was on them didn't work. Uh... I did go out and sand them again so that they were kind of roughed up around the edges. And so with this wax, with any of the wood, make sure you guys can see it, any of the wood that I sanded around the edges where the white paint wasn't, is off, I wanted to get this wax really into there so it looked, so it looked black. So after I did that, and I get messy and don't have paint clothes on again, um, and I have aprons too. You think I would wear those? No, no. And they're just on my office, the back of my door. And then I just took paper towels. And so I'm just rubbing this in. Hopefully I'm not moving the camera too much. So I'm just basically smoothing it out so it doesn't look like a mess like it was. Same thing on the edges. The hardest part to this project was drawing the socks. The other part, Matt just cut them out with, you know, his saw and then, and then I did decide where to put the hole. So he just drilled a hole in there. So that's how we hung them. Okay. So then when I got to this point, I thought it was a little too dark and a little too black and white, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know why I keep, yes, Karen. 
oh no, I didn't think you were disrespectful. No, I, no, not at all. I just like to share ways that I save money to decorate. No, not at all. Yeah, any fabric store for sure. Um, so then I went in with this. I've been sharing this a lot. This Restore Finish, this stuff. We've used it in our flip houses. We've um, like cabinets and floors and this stuff is unbelievable. And it stinks and it's like stains. So I'm just showing you this one stocking. So probably do this outside. Um, but so this obviously this is the color of dark walnut it should be. Yes. Um, it kind of gave it pulled the dark. It's not going to be a huge difference, but it kind of pulled the dark wax off the sock. If you can see that happening. So it kind of lightened it up and it and it made it kind of brownish too. So it wasn't just black and white. It was kind of, it looked more dirty. And that's what I was going for. I wanted these to look dirty. <laughs> and it'll make sense once I show you. We got them up last night. And I wanted all of them to go up, but we didn't have enough room for this one. And so I did that on the sides too. It just kind of pulls away just add some brown with the black and white like it said and just finishes it okay that's the wrong side <laughs> I let these sit overnight so let these because the wax and this restore finish let me get the lid back on this so I don't spill it um it, it's got it and different wood will be different, but like I said, this, whatever this had on it, it's just old boards we pick up at Restore um, or yard sales, and we just, if they're good, if it's good, like, wood, I, we keep it for projects just like this. But whatever was on this one, it doesn't want to penetrate the wood so fast like it would if it was raw wood. So um, I sat these, let these sit overnight, and that worked. But see, I just kind of wanted them to look dirty not just like white socks, if that makes sense. So let me show you, I'm gonna take this off. My hands are dirty. Okay, I, did, I was not planning on doing this. <laughs> In our mess and I'm still, so this is where they are. Let me open the front door so I can get more light. I am still decorating, so it's there's boxes everywhere, but this is what we did then with them. We hung them there, and we just used this rope that we had in the garage, and then I got this ribbon a couple years ago in the hearth and hand, like 90% off after Christmas. So we just had the rope, and I just felt like it still needed something. It just looked a little too, um, I don't know, harsh. Harsh is the wrong word, but... So that's where we hung them. And they don't just look like socks now. They look like dirty socks <laughs> hanging um, like over the fire. So that that is, you can see here, where they're just, they're not just white. They're black and brown and kind of look grody. But that's what I was going for. So there's two quick projects I thought I'd share with you guys. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I will answer them here. And I will go in and uh, put the link to the GNOME project that will give you the links for all of the, the supplies and stuff I use for there. So back to decorating. <laughs> have a great... W the heels and toes would look good with the material on them. Yes, that would look cute. Like a plaid or something on these. That would look really cute. Thank you, Susan. Yeah, if you guys, I guess I should wait here. Do you guys have any questions? Now I'm scrolling up and see, I can see people that are, when you come in, I can see, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss any questions. I'm just scrolling up through. Okay, if you have any questions, leave them and I will answer them. But a simple project, I mean, obviously you need a saw, and a drill to drill the hole. But as far as the paint and stuff, it's, I mean, it's pretty simple and, and straightforward and inexpensive if you've got just wood lying around in your garage. So, okay.
What? Angel, that's amazing. So are you making them like... <laughs> the gnomes are cute. Are you making like stuff gnomes or like... There's so many gnomes. I mean, I, they're, they're, they come in all shapes and forms and sizes. So they're cute. They are really cute. Okay. Yes. Do the gnomes, Susan. It's super easy, super easy. And you can make them into gift tags, ornaments, the garland. Um, yes. Angel. Yeah. Message me a picture. I'd love to see them. Okay. I'm going to go wash my hands before I get this all over my non-painting shirt. But so have a great day, guys. I'll try and pop in again when I'm working on something to share with you guys what I'm doing.